Hey guys and gals, Von Baden here with another video for Nightmare Creations. Today's video, we're going to go into some of the detail elements on the Warhammer gun. So, stay tuned. Alright, so... <clears throat> I've run into some issues. I've not done a whole lot of EVA foam guns. So the first couple guns that you do, you know, on anything new, you may or may not get a great looking thing. So I've had some issues that come up on this and there is some issues that will, um, I have solutions for. So the first one, <clears throat> that I had was this grill right here. Um, this is based off of SKS Props uh, Warhammer gun and it's altering into what I'm going to end up doing. Um, but basically shape and whatnot and then there's a few things that I'm going to show you in a minute on that. Um, but because this, I didn't do it the way he did it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I didn't do it the way he did it. Uh, it created some issues with the top housing here and um, how that ended up going together. So, what we're going to talk about is not how I messed up those issues, but some of these details that are being put into the gun. Um, and I am altering this to where when it is done, it's not going to be exactly the same as SKS Props um, video on his gun. I'm gonna add a scope and things of that nature on here. So first things first, in the SKS Props uh, version of it, he has these discs on both sides, all these on both sides, and there's some these little pieces that go in here and kind of add some detail. I wanted to add more detail since this is more of a futuristic laser blaster type gun and all of that fun stuff. I wanted a bigger clip, so I've made a bigger clip. Granted, the paint job is not done on this yet, and I gotta paint the base still, but um, once that's all done, then I can grunge this up too. Um, this is made out of a grand total of four pieces of 10 millimeter EVA foam, and then on the ends, I added a piece of two millimeter um, EVA foam to um, kind of give it a nice smooth look and finish of the clip. And then the base is made out of four millimeter foam on the bottom right here. And that will go in like this once I get done with the paint. I'll glue it in place permanently. Um, sorry, I wasn't trying to flip you off. The clip that was on the original one, it was about a half inch or so, and I wanted something that was a little bit more pronounced, and I think that's definitely pronounced there. Um, the other ones was he had some more of like these pieces granite was bigger that went here above the clip and I wanted to give them a little bit more detail and a little bit more interest and something more that I can grunge up and whatnot to make this blaster look like it's been in a war and what I did was I took and got the basic shapes let me see if I could show you the picture okay so <clears throat> this is the picture we got the discs and this and that right there um 
and don't get me wrong, his gun looks amazing, and I can only hope that my gun will look as amazing, but I wanted to add more, more elements to it. So I thought for on the side where the clip goes, I'm doing this little kind of slide doohickey. I mean, granted it won't be, it'll be glued in place, but make it look like a slide doohickey to disengage the cartridge. <clears throat> And then on the other side, doing something, I'm trying not to cover it, but I'm covering it with my hand. We got a piece of six millimeter foam, and then I have my cosplay uh, circle puncher thingamajiggy, whatchamacallit, here. Um, which this thing's amazing. You get three different sizes with it. And I've got the other one laying around here. And what I basically did was not knowing what I was going to end up wanting or needing, I took and punched out circles out of six millimeter foam and 10 millimeter foam and four millimeter foam and two millimeter foam. So I have different, if it'll focus, there you go. Give you some varying levels and details. Same thing with that. Um, and on these on these discs, um, I wanted to add some tiered looks. And the paint job's not done on this. Um, I was kind of playing around with paints and colors to see what was going to kind of pop out a little bit more and have a little bit more um, interest to it. Um, and I got to grunge the, the vents up on, on this, but um, <clears throat> the gun also has right here in this spot right there has a spot for another disc and I decided that I wanted to make I wanted to add different levels of interest and in different things so on one side I have this seems like when I put it over my face and this paint job's not done of course either but uh, just playing around with colors and seeing what pops off of which one and gives more interest than on the other side I made this little dial so when it's so the looks like you can change the the settings and that was kind of the whole purpose behind a lot of this um, different you know, one button, and then there's one that's got three. Now these are all primed and ready for paint. Um, went through and coated all of this with uh, two coats of Mod Podge. This stuff's amazing. Um, mainly because I didn't want to go outside to Plasti Dip this. Um, which would have been hard to do on these small pieces anyways, but nonetheless, it's it's really cold outside. As you may have heard, the birds are inside the house again uh, this year because it's been below, been negative temperatures. So wanna make sure that they're safe and sound too. So anyways, it's coming along pretty nice. I, I gotta do some wood grain texture on the handle add some grime to the whole thing that'll be done once I finish adding pieces to it I'm gonna add a scope on here and uh, really really learned a lot from making this gun and a lot of things I would do differently now, but 
one of those you haven't done it before you just kind of do do what you think is right and sometimes it is and sometimes it's not some of my choices on this is not worked out some have um but hopefully you've enjoyed this video of seeing where we are with the different details and the different color choices and the different paints and all of that fun stuff and if so if you've enjoyed this then by all means give this video a thumbs up if you're new to the channel and you want to see more of this stuff then uh go ahead and hit that subscribe button and i will see all of you on the very next video thanks Bye.